about radio. Hi guys, um, that's the uh, little uh, meter box that I'm going to use. So I'll uh, put a transformer in there and a rectifier and that'll drive the uh, motor on the antenna rotator. And um, uh, I was trying to think of a way of how I could use the switch that originally come off the drill. And um, uh, it's a little bit awkward to mount. Initially I thought I'd have it in some sort of handheld control, put it in a tube, but I, I, don't, I don't want to do that. And um, looking at it I realised that I could possibly mount this in some way on there so that I, I fix the, the actuator at, at some level that I actually want and then um, uh, have this so that I've got access to that little uh, button that sets the, the left and right hand movement but I don't like that either. Um, so anyway I'm going through some switches that I've got here and I've got plenty of uh, double pole double throw switches but I haven't got anything that's centre biased. I really wanted something that automatically springs back to the centre so that I could just sort of uh, sort of a up for clockwise and down for counterclockwise or something like that. Um, so um, I haven't got one uh, that's um, uh, a, a biased switch. So uh, I don't uh, I don't want something that permanently switches over or could accidentally get knocked and <laughs> uh, leave this thing going round. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use this push button. So I'll mount that on there and this switch. So I'll, I'll change these holes and I'll, I'll have it so that um, uh, I would like it so as it's like that so as it's very obvious um, uh, to the right to move the scale that way and to the left to do that but the way the meter is uh, mounted oh I could oh, I didn't think I'd got room for that so I might I might do that uh, this this metal work at the side gets in the way it's a bit uh, probably can't see that but it's a bit miserable it's, um, uh, if you can imagine when that's in there this this metal work gets in the way so I may even wind up cutting some of that away anyway that'll be the um, uh, the direction and then uh, this uh, little control there will be pressed so it'll be a case of move it to the left or right and then press the button for it to to operate um, and then um, that means I don't have to use the reversing switch on here. I simply uh, reverse the two wires that go out to the motor. So I have this permanently fixed in one direction or the other. And I say I'll work out some way of actually setting that uh, uh, speed control so that it's at a, uh, a constant speed that suits me. I don't want it to be too fast. Um, Okay, so that's where I'm going on uh, that. Oh, that's, that's a switch off an ordinary uh, drill. <laughs> um, uh, okay, um, let's say they're just some of the switches that uh, I've saved over the years. When I took a, a closer look at this switch, I see it's rated at uh, 250 volt, one watt and uh, that's the transformer that I uh, want to switch with it uh, so that's not very satisfactory but I've got this other uh, push button which is a lovely action and um, that's uh, 10 amps 500 volts uh, AC so that's uh, that's the one I'm going to use but it's <laughs> it's a, a bit bigger so it means uh, hacking away more metal work but uh, such is life uh, this is good because it gives me the opportunity to show you a Q-Max cutter. It's a two-part uh, punch and die arrangement. And 
that's the uh, hole I've got to accommodate or the shaft I've got to accommodate in the hole and uh, the way this works is uh, you put one part of the uh, tool one side that the other side I've just put some oil on that um, thread it's always a good idea to keep it lubricated and then uh, you can hold the back of that with a spanner if you have to and then with uh, an allen key um, it should start to dig in and it, it, it shouldn't turn And what's happening those two tools have been pulled together there. Um, I can't get in close and move it and then it'll just uh, ultimately pull through it's one half gone on side and that's it and then these two knock apart and the the spoil is uh, in the middle there anyway I won't worry about that so that's the hole uh, just a little bit of phrase on there not much and then uh, that body will go in there and the, the mechanism will be on the back and that's a bit of metal lovely tool that saves uh, hours of uh, filing that's got the uh, two switches uh, mounted there and uh, just about got in by the side of the meter it's what you'd call a bit adjacent but uh, that's okay so that'll be my uh, clockwise and uh, anti-clockwise and then the, the button to press to go um, I won't be putting a light in there as it's uh, um, uh, it hasn't got the, uh, the lamp holder in but uh, anyway it's coming on oh just uh, so you can see it's not all straightforward uh, this lot gets in the way of the edge of the box so I'm just going to have to uh, uh, trim out uh, there so I'll remove that bit of metal but uh, that again is no problem that's a little jigsaw job now that uh, that fits nicely